Locate an element using Selenium's Find Elements method requires us to walk through the dome step by step. For an illustration using our diagram, we are going to find the shadow host, then locate each element in the shadow tree. From the previous session, our setup method controlled Chrome and loaded our book application. In this session, we will use the same setup and the test script will be at test public void find shadow dome with selenium find element. We are going to find all of the statements into three statements. We're going to group all of the statements into three statements, starting with number one, find shadow host. Number two, execute JavaScript to return the shadow root. Number three, find the web element, then perform an action on the web element. The shadow host is a web element, so we write web element shadow host. Now we have to find the element. Recall from the diagram, the shadow host comes before the shadow tree and a shadow tree is a tree in the shadow dome. All shadow trees begin with a shadow root. Go to our AUT, inspect the search field. We see book app comes before shadow root. Therefore, our code will be driver dot find element by tag name with the value of book hyphen app. We have two statements for JavaScript to return the shadow root. The first statement is to cast JavaScript executor from the driver, then assign it to JavaScript executor with any reference name like JS executor. The next statement will cast web element and use JS executor to execute JavaScript. We execute JavaScript with two parameters, return arguments of zero, shadow root, and shadow host. The first parameter returns the first argument representing the shadow root element. Notice the second parameter is shadow host. We need the shadow host to access the web element shadow root. The shadow root is located inside of the shadow host. Now we can use the shadow root for the web element app underscore header. Go back to our AUT and we see app header is below shadow root. For our code, each web element will build on top of the previous web elements. We're going to use shadow root and the app header tag name. Shadow root dot find element by tag name. And the tag name is app hyphen header. The next element is app toolbar, but there are two tag names with the same name. So we must identify the element using the class name, which is toolbar hyphen bottom. 
Just like the last statement, we build on the current element using the previous element. So we use app header and toolbar hyphen bottom. Web element app underscore tool bar. Equal the previous web element, which is app header dot find element. There it is. Bar. At this point, we can find the elements by selecting locators, class name or CSS selector. Class name would be toolbar hyphen bottom. But let's use CSS selector. And we just add a dot in front of toolbar hyphen bottom. The next tag is book input decorator. Then the book search field, which has an ID value of input. We're going to build on top of app toolbar, then find book input decorator, followed by the search field. So the web element will be web element book underscore input underscore decorator equal app header app toolbar I apologize app toolbar dot find element by we go back by if we wanted to we can combine the book input decorator element with the search field using CSS selector. The value would be both tag names, which is book hyphen input hyphen decorator angle bracket input. However, let's break it down and use only the tag name for book input decorator. There it is. Now we at the last element which is the web element for search field. And we're gonna use the book input decorator to find the element by ID. And that value was input. Now that we have found the elements, let's perform an action on the web elements by writing search field dot send keys and the keys will be shadow dome width <laughs> find element let's run Bingo. We see the search field show shadow dome with find element. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next session where I will show nested shadow domes. And thank you again. All part one ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium automation book. And Test NG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.